Hi, Chess Kane here. We're going to go over a couple things uh, when you get a when you have your Corvair engine if you're working on it. A couple issues to identify as far as improving the cooling on the engine. And as a matter of fact, after I finish this video, I'm installing my uh, floor vents inside the uh, cab there, sealing them off. I've been working on water leaks and you know uh, sheet metal problems up front. But anyway, this uh, I just put the, this new crossover on, by the way, and it works great. So everything's synchronized. Uh, but anyway, these two pieces of sheet metal is what we're going to talk about real quick and how they'll improve the Corvair engine cooling. So if you have any uh, non-air conditioned Corvair, you'll see this hose typically, you know, the positive air pressure from the fan and uh, it goes into here to what they call the fresh air um, box the heater box that's located underneath here well the little uh, diverter valve in there they do go bad so rather than take a chance of losing precious air that should be cooling the engine it's best to always block that off even if you have the hose there for looks make sure that that is blocked off. There's really no purpose. I mean, you've got windows, you've got vents up front. Uh, this, I put some metallic tape on both sides just temporarily. I'm going to cut a piece of metal and put that on there. But that's been holding up for a long time. And I did the same thing on the uh, intake of the diverter, and I put a clamp on it. But uh, right here, you can get this from Clark's. I actually cut one myself, and then I, I lost it in the move somewhere. Uh, so I just bought another one. This is available from Clark's and that will fit in just right below this. Temporarily though I did put a piece of cardboard and I layered it with that really strong packaging tape just uh, temporarily to put a seal in there while I was tuning up and testing the engine because I want all the air to go across the heads and the pistons. And then another area that's typical for leaks let me move this light down here is the oil cooler you know you want hundred percent of that air that's directed towards the oil cooler to flow there's not a lot of place to put a light here there. hopefully you can see so you want all the air that's designed to flow through the oil cooler to get through the oil cooler otherwise it escapes through these fins here into the low pressure area and it just goes back like an eddy current around and around and around so make sure that you have some type of plate that's uh, you know, covering that air from escaping so this oops, goes this way right here so this plate you can buy from Clark's or you can bend your own but you just remove this bolt and these two bolts here and it easily fits into place so that solves that problem major area for air leaks right there when you have the engine running and if you put your hand here whether you have an 8 plate or a 12 plate uh, the folded fin already has a, um, a cover here built in with it so you don't have to worry about that but these ones you definitely want to have that plate also on the opposite side there's a plate that goes there too but you can only get at it with this unit removed so uh, that's the cooling tip of the day and uh, stay tuned for more small Corvair tips